Hi friends, in this tutorial I will create a, or I will demonstrate how to extract the contents of an archive directory. So let's get started. Now in here, uh, in my documents directory, I have this archive.zip. It has three files in it, secret.txt, secret2, and secret3, I think. So there are three text files that are zipped within this one. So for this tutorial, I won't be using PyCharm. Uh, I'm going to be using the interactive Python sh shell. So for this, we need to import two modules, the OS module and the zip file module. Now, once we have imported that, let's uh, change our uh, directory. So right now, if, uh, if I do this, so it says that your current working directory is user, user's email directory. However, this is my documents directory. It resides in my documents directory. So let's change this. So chdir and inside this, let's type in users ma academy and then documents so this uh, this is now this gets so this is the directory where i will be working so now it reflects this one this was previously the nitro not the right directory because it didn't have that archived file so what we do now is that let's create a variable first called zip1 and then what we do is that we're saying uh, use the zip file module and then the zip file function of that module and we are passing in the name of the our zip file so which in this case is archive so this zip one it is the f variable that we are creating this zip file it is this one the, which is the module that we are importing and this is the function within that module so we are saying that use the zip file function of the zip file module and for the argument we are passing in this archive.zip which is this one once you do that, now we want to extract it. So how do we distract it? We type in zip1 and then we say extract all. So this zip1, this is the variable that holds this archive and then we are using the extract all function. So what it does is that it extracts it. So now you can see that there are these three text files that we get and also this directory. So let's get rid of this put them in the trash so this is how you can extract it now let's say you want to extract only one of them how do you do that what you do is that you say zip dot extract and after that you pass in the name of the file in this case it is a secret dot txt so now if we go back you can see that this file has been extracted so let's move it to the trash as well so this extract all extracts everything this extract extracts only this file so how do you read the contents of that zip file if you want to find that out watch my previous tutorial and that i explained how to read the contents of those files how to get the size of that file and how to get the file of that file after it has been zipped so what was the size of it before zip and how to what was the size of it after it was zipped and what are the contents of that particular uh, zip file so if you want to find that uh, how to do that that is in my previous tutorial so in this one what uh, let's say now uh, that I want to extract it to a particular directory now let's say that what we did right now was that we extracted in this directory so archives are zip it was in here in the documents and what I did was that I extracted it to this directory now let's say we are one we wanted to create, extract it to another so let's call it uh, archive the directory so what I want to do is that this is currently empty. So what I want is that I want to uh, extract only this txt file in that directory. So what we do is that we type in the location of it. So users ma underscore academy uh, documents and then archive directory. So if I press enter, now if I go inside this one, you can see that the secret.txt has been moved. Sorry, I've been extracted in this one. So these are the different ways of working with the, uh, with the um, zip file module, how to extract. So this is the third uh, tutorial that I'm creating for the zip file module. And the first one I created a zip file and the second one what I did was that I read the contents of that and the third one I extracted it. So these are the ways you can work with the zip file, create, read the contents and extract it. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to put it in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one.